Hello, my name is Exabyte, and today I'm going to be using Carpet Mod to overclock redstone. And as I mentioned in the intro, uh, this is not vanilla. We'll be using the Carpet Mod, but uh, the Carpet Mod is really just a utility mod, so it's, it's still pretty close to vanilla. It just adds a few extra features. The main one I'll be focusing on is the ability to control the tick rate. So if, if we look over here, for example, we, we see this large loop I made out of redstone. And normally, like, this is sort of set in place. However, I can use this command to adjust the tick rate. So default would be 20. The default would be 20, like this. However, we could slow it down, set it to 10. And now we'll see that it goes a lot slower. And if we set this to 1 then we'll see that this crawls along at a, a really slow pace but we can do more than just slow it down we can also speed it up so if we set it to 40 then we'll see it's going faster and this is at about uh, twice the normal speed and the maximum this can go to is 500 and that would be 25 times the normal speed and when we run that we'll see it it, it goes around really fast like this, I'm not even sure if you could get it to go this fast, like on just like with a one repeater <laughs> thing normally. But yeah, as you can see, it's going a whole lot faster because we're running it 25 times faster than normal. And now for a more practical test, I'm going to be trying this out on this huge RAM module that I made uh, earlier this year. And um, if, if you've seen this, then you'll know that this is really slow. So I'm actually going to I'm going to do test this by uh, reading a different value out of this RAM and timing how long it takes to update. So if I change the value right here, then we can watch it as the lights slowly adjust from there over to there to there and then waiting for the last two to come in. There we go. So now, now it's updated. However, if we were to set it to 500, then we've now increased the tick rate by 25 times. It's going 25 times faster than normal. And if we set back to the previous value, then we'll see that was much quicker. Now, this isn't like a magic solution that'll make any machine run faster because it is still limited by what your computer can do. So if you're already like running a whole lot of redstone that's causing lag, then speeding this up, it then speeding this up isn't really going to give you an advantage. Uh, we can see in this world, I have, you know, two to three millisecond ticks, which is pretty good. However, in my other world with commands, I have like a 30 or 40 millisecond tick. And in that, I wasn't able to really get that much of a noticeable increase. I mean, I could, I could increase it, but it was more like a two times increase. I wasn't able to to increase it as much as I'm doing in this world. But yeah, in a, in a, in a, in an efficient world like this, we can get pretty fast increase, uh, as we can see by being able to change values right here and having it update in an actually reasonable amount of time instead of sitting there waiting for it to load. And I've also tried this out using my adder that I built a while back, and um, unfortunately I built it backwards, so yeah, this is two and this is one right here, but uh, other than that, we see that we have uh, two, plus zero, and if we look over there, we'll see that that is uh, two. If we do two plus one, then wait for a little bit. There we go, we see that it's three. However, uh, that that's that's three in binary, that's, that's what it is. However, if we uh, speed it up and then set it back, then we'll see it, it, it's almost instantaneous. And if we adjust it like here, it just snaps back and forth. It's almost instantaneous. So yeah, as long as you're not running large stuff that's lagging out your world, this can definitely give you like pretty big performance increase for uh, redstone machines and computers. And uh, Carpet Mod does have a lot of other features. Uh, I just don't remember any of them, and I'm, I'm not showcasing them in the, this video. So if you want to download Carpet Mod and try it out for yourself, I will have a link in the video description for that.
If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like, and if you want to see more, then subscribe and click the bell for a new video every Saturday. And I'll see you next time. Bye!